Welcome to Snapcoms, your internal communications solution. In this video, you'll learn how to create advanced screensavers using layers of images and other visual elements. For instance, you might start with a video and add your company logo, or start with a slideshow of images and add a scrolling ticker. It's all up to you. To get started, just log into the Content Manager. Click Create Content and choose a folder. Select Screensaver and click on the green Screensaver icon. Give your Screensaver a name so you can find it again in your content folder and so users can find it in their message history window. And then click Create. In our last video, Simple Screensavers, you learned how to create screensavers using one image, slideshow, video, or web page at a time. If you have not watched that video, please stop and watch it now. Otherwise, let's move on and see how to use the tools on the right to further customize your screensavers. Perhaps you have a simple video screensaver and you'd like to add a logo to identify your brand. Just click image on the right and drag the tool onto the canvas about where you'd like the image to go. You'll be prompted to upload a new image or select an image you've already uploaded. And if you like, you can also add a link. Next, click on the Size and Location tab for more options. If you uncheck Lock Aspect Ratio, you can stretch your image however you like. But I don't want to distort my logo, so I'll click Reset and check the box to lock in my logo's original proportions. When you're ready, click Done. Your image appears on the canvas on top of the background video, along with a set of tools. You can click on the dots and move your image. Click on the arrow and change its size. And you can also delete your image, make a copy, or click the gears to go back to the menu. When you're finished, click anywhere else on the page to hide these tools. And now we're ready to publish our screensaver. As you can see, whether the user chooses to play the video or not, our logo will be right here the whole time. Or maybe you've created a simple slideshow screensaver and you'd like to add a scrolling ticker. As before, just drag the tool onto the canvas and you'll be prompted to choose some basic settings. How fast would you like your text to move across the screen? Would you like it to scroll from left to right or from right to left? Should it scroll vertically, up the screen or down the screen? Click Done to save these settings. Then click on the placeholder text and a new toolbar appears. You can write your message and format it however you like. You can even add a link to any URL, for instance, to the sign up page for an upcoming event. When you're finished, click anywhere else. The toolbars disappear and your text starts to scroll. If you'd like to make any changes, just click on your message to bring back the toolbars. And notice, you can drag the arrow to make your message scroll in a small area or all the way across the screen. Of course, moving text layered on top of a picture can sometimes be hard to read. So let's add a solid color behind our ticker. Just click on the gear icon to go back to the settings and then click on the size and location tab. You could set the exact location and size of your ticker here. But for now, I'll just scroll down and pick a background color. You can choose one of our favorite colors and then use the color picker to make it darker or lighter. Or enter the hex color code for any color you'll like. Then click Done and the background color fills the whole area you've selected from the dots to the arrow. So now when I click somewhere else and our text begins to scroll, it's much easier to read. How about starting with a simple image screensaver? Perhaps this announcement needs an update. I'll drag a color block onto the canvas. Again, I'll scroll down and pick the exact color I need to match the existing image. Then I'll click Done and I'll position the color block to hide the old date and time. Now let's add a new block of text. Please note, each element you add to your design becomes a separate layer. In this case, we have our image at the bottom, the color block in the middle, and our text will be on top. You can click the down arrow to move an element down one layer, so now I can move my text underneath the color block. But let's click the up arrow to put the text on top of the color. Just like we did with the ticker, 
I'll select the placeholder text, write a new message, and use the toolbar to format it. As you can see, the font and the font size both say inherited. You can click on settings at the top right and then click on the font and color tab and choose a default font, font size, and color for all of the text in your screensaver. Just be sure to click Done to save your changes. These new defaults have already been applied to the text I just added. And if I add another block of text, it will use those same settings. But don't worry, you can still select a text block, highlight the text you want to format, and make any changes. For instance, I'll make this text white. While we're here, let's also add a slideshow to this screensaver. I'll add some images from a similar event last year, select a transition from one slide to the next, and decide how long a slide should last. And I'll also click on the Size and Location tab, scroll down, and choose a background color. But this time, I'll also add some padding. That is, I'll make the background a little bit bigger than the slideshow. Now, when I click Done, you can see that the padding creates a colored frame around my slides. You could even customize a web page screensaver, but adding new elements on top of a web page can be confusing for your users. So let's go to the background section on the right and click Clear to remove the web page. And now we can add a different background instead, for instance, a solid color. As before, you can choose one of our popular colors or use the color picker or just enter the hex color code for exactly the color you want. Now, let's add that same web page using the tool on the right. Just enter the URL and click Done, and the page appears in a window instead of covering the whole canvas. Just drag the arrow to find a shape and a size where the web page looks good. See the difference? We have the same web page and the same image, but our screensaver doesn't look nearly so cluttered. In the same way, you can add a video to your design. Just choose YouTube or Vimeo and fill in the video ID. Remember, on Vimeo, that's the number after the slash, and on YouTube, it's the code after V equals. Then I'll click Done, and your video appears on the canvas. Just be careful resizing videos. If you change your window's proportions, you'll end up with black bars like these. To reduce or remove those bars, please make sure that your window is the same shape as your video. You can add as many elements as you like. For instance, I'll add a few more images and adjust my layers, add some text for a headline, and I'll even add a scrolling ticker at the bottom. With the simple tools you've just learned, you can bring your own unique vision to life and truly customize your screensavers. When you're finished, just set your target dates, select your target users, and you're ready to publish your new screensaver to any users you like. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit our website at www.snapcoms.com. Snapcoms, get employee attention.